the throne. <laughs> Sounds that could never come out of those instruments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hey everybody, before we start, I need to let you know that this video is sponsored by AMC Shutter, and we're about to review a comedy, but you know what I've learned? I've learned that a lot of people who enjoy laughing also equally as much enjoy being scared. Crazy, I know, but if you're that crazy person, then I have the place just for you, and that is Shutter. Dot com s h u d d e r dot com they are the netflix of horror they also have a wide range of other categories of horror you got supernatural killers creature features psychological thrillers exclusives and originals some of you enjoy horror so much you got to Take it from all over the world and that is what you get with the international category right there now, some of you were saying that's a lot, but I need just a little bit more variety. I mean, I'm not trying to be greedy, but what if I like to be, I don't know, educated by my horror? What if I like to laugh? What if I'm not exactly in the mood for horror, but I like sci-fi? Am I going to have to go someplace else for that? No, you stay right here because if you look over here, they got that for you too. They got documentaries, comedies, crime and mystery, revenge, sci-fi, cult, and they even got short films over there. If you go right over here, they have the master of suspense himself, Alfred Hitchcock. They have a whole category dedicated to him. There's Rear Window right there. That is one of my favorites. I love Creepshow. They have a Creepshow series on Shudder that I enjoy very much. They even had an animated special. And in addition to that, I am watching a very unique Sundance pick, a very unique horror film from them. And... It's called Scare Me. I'm not going to tell you too much, but believe me, it's very creative and is very much worth watching. But you can only do that if you have Shutter.com. Woo! Woo! That's a lot. That's a lot. I don't think I can afford that. That's so much. Look, don't put yourself down like that. Don't cut yourself short. You definitely can't afford this. $5.99 per month or $56.99 per year. That's nothing. That is nothing. Stop. Stop. You can afford that. Oh, okay, some of you saying, don't insult me like that. Of course I can't afford that. I'm just so busy. I just don't know if I'd have time to watch. Yeah, you will, because you can take Shudder with you wherever you go. Wherever you go, Shudder is right behind you. Why? Because it is very mobile and it is available on several devices. I'm looking at the list right here. iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Xbox One, Amazon, Fire TV, Google Chromecast, Roku, and Android devices. You can get Shudder for absolutely free for 30 days if you go to Shudder.com that's S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com and type in the promo code Double Toasted it's right there once again go to Shudder.com S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com and type in the promo code Double Toasted you'll get Shudder 30 days for free tell them Corey sent you and I want to thank once again AMC Shudder for sponsoring this video and of course I want to thank all of you out there for your support thank you you know what, this is the time where we do our bad movie review, but people are saying, hey man, you know, the movie that you're talking about today, I don't think that this counts. Yeah. Now, I've never seen it before, but I've heard that the movie that we're about to talk about, Martin Lawrence in Black Knight, people <laughs> said, man, I got fun memories of that movie. It isn't awesome, but come on, man, you save these reviews for the worst of the worst sometimes. It ain't on that level. Cut your boy a break over here. You don't need, don't do this, Corey. Don't do this. And you goddamn right, I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it ain't gonna be in vain. I tell you that much. <laughs> Plus, the other thing is, is that I have never seen this. Now I do remember. This is one of those movies where I remember getting press materials for when we were doing uh, our access show. Mm -hmm. We were doing our movie review show there. Mm -hmm. We got press materials for this tapes. Uh, I think I got a CD of the soundtrack from the movie, but didn't get no screening for it. Exactly. You know, I don't know what to tell you right here with this. I mean, it's 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 a simple premise. Uh, Martin Lawrence goes back in time to medieval times and brings Hood to the castle. I don't know. You know, mm. I, it, yeah. it's a it, it, you know how it is. You got people talking old English and he's talking black slang. Oh my God! How will they act? Right. What what wacky antics will happen with this? Well, folks, what are you gonna say? No, I was gonna say it's a fish out of water, <laughs> where everybody out of water goes like, "Hey, let's conform to the fish." 
I'm not looking to talk bad about something. If you say that it ain't that bad, then that's what I hope for. I'm not going in to say I hope this is bad just Who so I wants can have it to a be crazy bad? review. Yeah. I got things to do. I hope that I see that movie that some of you still remember recently. Let's go ahead and take a look <laughs> at Mar Lawrence in Black Knight. Thirteen hundred and twenty-eight. Ah, no. He's living in the Middle Ages. <laughs> get, get, get used to that. <laughs> they repeated they repeat yeah. the same yell. Yeah. Ah, yeah. People, people, people get used to that. That, that scream, yell. That's the, no, not that yell. That's screaming and hollering. Yeah. Okay. Being noble. <laughs> okay, y'all get the point. You know, look, I can straight up tell y'all. It's like I said before, I could straight up tell you the elevator pitch for this, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was done in an actual fucking elevator. Mm -hmm. The elevator pitch for this <laughs> is very simple. Some dude, some white dude who was coked out said, get this. <laughs> <laughs> get this. Hood meets medieval times. But I don't know what to tell you. There's a lot of shucking and jiving going on at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I say, when I say mugging, I'm talking about Martin Lawrence. They put Martin Lawrence right in your face. Mm -hmm. When the movie, the, the movie opens up, the, the opening <laughs> credits, they put a fucking camera right there in Martin Lawrence's face and they said, you know what? You make as many funny faces and crazy noises as you want to. We just gonna sit back. We gonna give you some dent dentistry tools right here, some yeah. supplies. Put you right here in front of this camera, act like it's a mirror, and you just act a fool into your heart's content. God damn, before, before the movie even gets to that part, he's going medieval on himself. He just yeah. sit up there torturing himself. What gets me about this? You pull out chunks of your own nose? <laughs> what the fuck? And now look, I ain't gonna talk too bad about Jamal here because, listen, I've seen much worse characters in movies. I've seen much more caricature characters in movies. Uh, the thing about Jamal, at least Jamal got a house that he pays his rent on, or his mortgage maybe. Uh, Jamal also, he's got a job that he goes to on time, every day. Uh, only thing I say about him, he's a little full of himself, which makes him kind of a terrible driver. Boy, it's a good well, thing he was. It's a good thing he was just driving green screen because he could have hurt somebody. Yeah, right there. I know. I like, yeah, yeah, man, that's not easy to drive when all you have yeah. is a green screen behind yeah. him. Somebody <laughs> cranking it behind yeah, him like, like in the thirties. They didn't even try to hide that shit. Oh my god! If he was driving a real car, can you manage what he could have done? I, was it really that hard to just <laughs> yes. feel him driving a real yeah. car? Well, that's a good. And it's bad green screen. Oh yeah. Too. yeah. yeah. Well, it's a good thing nobody hurt except I think he hit the camera man, knocked him across the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the source of Jamal's. Medieval adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, they, they, they gave a reason. <laughs> yeah, they did. Well, not well, really. Well, no, the source far. of uh, the source of his uh, of of his adventure begins with this job at the creatively titled Medieval World. You can see right here, which is just a piece of shit. He's disrespecting his boss, and trying to get her to sell because he wants to go work at this competition, also creatively titled Castle World. Castle World. Boy, the, they hired the best marketing people for these castle <laughs> theme parks over here. Uh, <laughs> Jamal is trying to get her to sell because he wants to get a job over at Castle World because he's like, you know what, your place ain't shit and the competition's gonna buy you out, so why don't you just sell and just move on? And his boss is sitting up telling him, you know what, Jamal, I'm just trying to make the best of what I do around here. and. I had such high hopes there for you. you. Say, please say that. Yes. I had <laughs> such high hopes for you to come and help me out. She's telling him this complete with sad music. And what does he say? Well, fuck you, bitch. That's your fault. Take what money you got. And shit. I had high hopes for you. Maybe you shouldn't have. Mm. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, I, I showed you I ain't shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, your eyes, I right? work at fucking medieval world. I work in like a ragged ass castle. What the? What you? How'd you have high hopes for anybody? <laughs> and that's the thing about it because at first I felt I felt I felt like he was being an asshole. I really didn't like him. And then I was like, oh wait, wait a minute. I listened to the crazy shit that she was saying, and I was like, oh no, Jamal's kind of right. So we're not going anywhere. And stay right here and compete with Castle World. I've been providing quality jobs for this community for over 27 years. Qu quality jobs? People, 
medieval world is, to quote Trump, a shithole. People, this is, this, yeah. you ain't providing quality anything for anybody over here. There's no dragons. It's just a, sh it's just a shitty paper mache castle with a Ferris wheel and some cheap, Aww. some cheap part of, uh, parking lot carnival rides. And by the way, it's a, it's, it's a castle in the hood. Right. What fucking genius thought that this was a great business plan to, to, to bring jobs to the community by building a shitty castle in the hood? Again, it's a movie. I know. I just. Yeah, come on. What are you? Yeah, doing? this this is the, this is the fucking setup for the film. Whatever, man. All right, we just want to see him go to the, the actual real medieval times and yeah, why are we bullshit? Act crazy with these these right these old white people there. Uh, like I said, apparently there's high demand, but in the movie there's high demand for castles in the hood. <laughs> right, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they, because down somebody's the building down the street right. castle work down right. the street. So apparently, brothers in this movie love to get medieval every fucking day in Compton and shit. Ever since Pulp Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> hey, over them nowhere else in L.A. Hey, no, you got all of L.A. They decide yeah. to build fucking med med medieval times, right. times ten in the, in the fucking hood. How does how does Martin Lawrence actually get into? <laughs> Get into medieval times. It's an epic way, too. That's gotta be worth a lot of money. This is the most fucking thing I got, man. It's coming. That's it! That's it! You know what? I'm laughing because. That oh, shit, no. that that shit pulled him in like like he got eaten by a shark yeah. or something, and Jamal didn't even struggle. Jamal, yeah, no, that, went down. that shit must have knocked him out before he went in. Jamal just yeah, it was a lazy shark because it took his time. Yeah, yeah look at this yeah, he's shit. He's looking confused. Uh, <laughs> that, that shark must have roofed his ass before they just, <laughs> just just slid in. Just slid in. That shit was so lazy. I thought it was a dummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't for that one foot right there, yeah, right, right, right. That one foot that kicked <laughs> up, I would have thought like that was a dummy because I was like, oh shit, it has life. It's like almost like the stomach came in and was like, well, y'all didn't clean the water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm only doing this. I, I don't want to do this. You already agreed to yeah. do it. I'm only doing it once. You get it. <laughs> I'm you telling smoke. you that 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 one foot gave proof of life because I was like, because I thought that shit was stuffed. I thought it was a janitor's outfit Man. stuffed with cotton. I mean, it might be. Like yeah, man, that fool woke up in a lake, and that lake, he woke up, in, and when he woke up in the lake, like, they just dragged him in, you had, like, a flash, which is easy to make, and then he wakes up in a lake, which, by the way, they just do this just to have him, like, <laughs> scream and, and talk, right. talk crazy more. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah. yeah. By the way, it looks freezing there, dude. By the way, yeah. I know. Oh, fuck, it's the warmest hell where he's at. It's fucking sunshine and yeah, everything. Yeah, I know. Water's well, like eighty-five you degrees. You got down, see the mosquitoes buzzing and everything. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm cold. Oh, I'm cold. My horror. <laughs> Acting, right? <laughs> but speaking of, <laughs> the first person that he meets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is somebody he thinks is a homeless guy, played by Tom Wilkinson, man, of all people. Oh, oh no gonna, kidding. I was, was going to say, Martin, this is going to hurt. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is, when, this yeah. is when other people thought, like, well, the movie sucks, but black comedians, they're profitable, so I'll be in it. Sure. Oh, no. Tom Wilkinson. What was he right before this? Rush Hour. Rush Hour? Was he, oh, was he, was he right before Rush Hour? Well, let's see. Rush Hour was what? 90. Around that area, right? Was it? 96. Yeah, and you know what? He sees, he sees this guy right here and doesn't. And doesn't, you know, he thinks he's a homeless guy, but doesn't doesn't think to ask him, where's the fucking city <laughs> that just disappeared? Where's the castle that was just back here that was like literally 10 feet away from me? He no, nah, he got no, nah, he got jokes, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no time for that when we gotta No time for that. We gotta get to these this, this fit these fish out of hood jokes here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We got hey no we got to hear up to see what happens when when medieval meets urban. Oh, you upset? I ain't got no beef with you, dog. And I am not a dog. 
Now, keep in mind that this is when around the time that Hollywood just discovered the word dog, the way black people use it. You're the man, dog. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. <laughs> Get it right, Martin. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. Have the man come in and come say, man now. You, you got it wrong, dog. <laughs> and, I, 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 and I'm defending that movie in one part. And the reason, he, at least he was drunk in that scene. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah so, he was drunk, right. and yeah, and he was, he was making right. fun of the, the, yes. the, the word. Yeah. yeah, people, you know that. <laughs> so, so I'm saying, this is yeah. when, I, Dog, the, the day that Hollywood started using the word dog is when it became not cool. That's when Probably they just, when Will Smith used it. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's when they fucked up for everybody. <laughs> Jamal eventually finds himself going to the castle. Not his castle or the castle that he works at back in his time. He goes to a real castle. And during this whole time, I'm thinking, look, I know that this is not only just a comedy, but it is a fantasy comedy I know that I'm not supposed to be taking, no, no rules apply here, all right? I get it. I mean, there are some rules that have to just connect the story, but real, you know, let's not go ahead and try to take this too seriously. But I could not help thinking that as he approached that castle, they would have killed his black ass when he was a speck on the horizon. I just say, how do you how do you explain a black dude? <laughs> oh, they they would have thought he was a moor, and they use that throughout the oh, whole yeah, thing. The but whole then, that moor would have would they would have sent a fucking wizard out to his ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, I know. Hey, right. Where you going before you got even near the castle? <laughs> where is your black ass going? Yeah. Listen, you think people are racist today? You know how they were in medieval times. Yeah. You know how they put up with that shit. They came out the woods too. Came out the came out yeah. the brush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm from South Central, Florence and Normandy. Oh, Normandy, okay. Yeah. Normandy? Uh, a thousand pardons. We've been awaiting word from Normandy. Now, you knew, just in case you don't know how Normandy holds any weight outside of this story right here, you knew Normandy, if you were just watching a movie, was going to play some important part in this, the way they actually slowed it down, because that's the street that Martin Lawrence's character Jamal is from, and they let you know that it was important early in the movie when Jamal was riding around, mm -hmm. and they took the time to slow oh. down. <laughs> oh, <the street's> <laughs> hey, just in case you missed it. <laughs> if you could just say Florence and Normandy sailed from South Central. Yeah. Also, no. clearly not motherfucking street side. Ain't no numbers on it or nothing. No, just, you had <laughs> Normandy and Florence. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? That shit's like, that shit's like a, 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 a generic brand cereal box right there. Yeah, you don't say Avenue Street. Ain't no numbers on right, this no From yeah. the streets of Normandy, boy. Look at that shit. They slowed that shit down. Hey, if all you ignorant motherfuckers yeah. out there, here you go. Hope you can read. It's like he gets inside. Mm -hmm. And out of all these white people around there, he just so happens to run into the only random black chick walking around the court. You glow, girl. You speak with an unusual tongue. Oh no, that's just how we. That's just what Hollywood wrote for me. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't really Ooh, talk like that. Fine, no, she's fine as fuck. Oh, damn. Oh, I forgot her name. What is this actress's name? Oh, I forget her name too. Uh, Marjorie but, Thompson, I think. That's it. I think you, uh, Margaret or Marjorie. Yeah, somebody let us know. Las Vegas. That show, Las Vegas, for a while. Mm. Yeah. Marsha Tom Thomason. There you That's go. it. Marsha Thomason. Somebody said Beyonce. I can see how you think that. <laughs> you racist son of a bitch. But no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, can, gorgeous, I can see how you can think that. She is on Beyonce level right there. Ooh. Yes, she is. Yeah. And, you know, and because he's black and she's, she's the black. only black chick around there, you know they had to make that happen. Uh, but you know because well, that's how you and I met of course of course yeah Martin that was the great, greatest bromance ever we used to hang around a group I was the only black person in that group Martin was the only black person in that group wow we should actually have sex <laughs> and Martin went wait wait, wait I, just, I just want to hang I, can, I just want to get a beer oh like, yeah that's what I meant too man yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so, watch, you, you watch sports <laughs> so seriously when we gonna stop bullshit and do this so. <laughs> but nah man so he of course because they're the only two black people they're almost like animals you got mate they they have to <laughs> they gotta they they gotta hook up you on a thong by the way not before not before he pulls some uh some violating shit on her okay. yeah look wait let me run this back let's, yeah yeah let's, yeah let's, let's, let's gotta, what yeah. he asked this girl right here you on a thong a what um okay never mind won't you just bring an old pair of drawers and uh, cut the ass out he's telling her he's an agent Asian, I, I, yeah. I, I, I work for Denzel, and uh, I can make you a star. So come on over in, the, in your in your in your panties and your thong, and let me take some pictures. I like nineties. Don't give God a fuck. Damn. I know, I know. Yeah, nineties. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. Matter of fact, did you have the script? 
Nineties <laughs> and two thousand didn't give a fuck about violating <laughs> chicks and making them yeah. and talking yeah. that sexual harassment shit to them. He pulled this shit, girl. Let me take some pictures of you with a thong on because I, you know, I, I can make you famous. And you gonna try to pull this self righteous shit on this dude coming up? You especially my Nubian queen. Don't you know that sexual harassment? Yeah, I, believe me, I know. I just did five minutes ago. <laughs> five seconds ago. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Stealing my game. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in a lot, a lot of four seminars about this, and yeah. I recognize it yeah. right, yeah. Up, right off the bat. Believe me. I just pulled the shit to like show you an example of how it's wrong. And you're going to pull it. Have you not learned nothing, sir? That was sexual harassment, sir. And worst of all, it was cock blocking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was going to say. This harassment, the worst of all, happened on my watch. <laughs> Clearly, you know nothing of bro code. Yeah. <laughs> kind of says that's a, a minute. That is what he said. He's like, he does kind of, yeah. He's like, sir, you have sexual harassment that you ruined for me a little while ago. Right, right. <laughs> By the way, that Nubian queen shit, that, that is Vincent Reagan who uttered that line. He, if you couldn't tell, the villain in the movie. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you couldn't the, tell about the, the goatee. Eyes and the goatee. The goatee and his fucking sexual harassment. <laughs> right, right. And the chain mail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Early on, uh, this is obvious that it has barely a script, which, okay, that's, that's all right. You know, uh, it's just supposed to be filled out by the antics of Martin Lawrence. So that's cool. And like I said, I like Martin Lawrence, man. And they had some scenes that I was really kind of mixed in with this because they got some scenes where they have a combination of the loud Martin Lawrence, but there's moments where he really is very charismatic. And some of those scenes gave me chuckles, man. And, you know, I, I just didn't know where it was going to go at a certain point. Of course, I was hoping that was going in the direction that I was, I was liking more. Starting at small forward. And I like this joke. He has the, like, they, he has to be introduced to the king. And they say, how do you want to be introduced to the king? And he's like, well, come here, let me tell you. And you didn't really hear what he said. And then you see he's being introduced like he's at a basketball game. Which I thought, you know, okay, again, he's black, so it's got to be basketball. But I thought that was kind of funny. From Inglewood High, Jamal Skywalker. <laughs> now that brings back memories. He's like, who let this nigga up in here? <laughs> Guard! 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 God damn! Somebody man. gonna lose a head today. I know you're joking, but god damn. That's, that's what, exactly how he's looking That's what he looked who like. This? He like, somebody gonna lose their fucking life in their job yeah. today. Guards! Get this black motherfucker out of here. Off with all the heads. Uh, I'm getting some chuckles here, man. Uh, the fish out of hood thing is working for me. I'm okay with this. And then they had to go. <laughs> you you and, good? You good? And then they, then they had to go and chop off a man's head in this. And it drew it, it drove this this brother crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got a head that comes off, a neck that spurts blood. Look at the head. People, if only his ass could have stayed asleep. Yeah, stayed down. <laughs> if he only could have stayed down because cause when that brother woke up, he lost his shit. And there's so much Martin Lawrence screaming going on. <laughs> People, that, uh, he, he, like, that, she, that's she's even taste. looking at him like, like what? are you going to be a bitch about <laughs> this? <laughs> we, she's like, calm your ass down. This is not the way we rehearsed yeah. it. You, you making all of us look bad. Yeah. People, there's that screamer from that. Look, I get it. He just saw a human head get 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 severed. Cool, I'll give him that one. But in just a matter of minutes, we get that. This Negro screaming about numbers. <laughs> it is the year of our Lord 1328. Ah! Oh. The date uh, frightens uh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's he's screaming. You scared of numbers now? <laughs> he's screaming about chairs. And that's the best way to put a seat. Yeah, I was at that point. Uh, yeah, you right, brother. <laughs> you and me both. Now he, now, he sees some heads out there that are severed and being put on sticks. Oh. Oh. How we going now? He was cool right there, actually. That was fine. He That's was a actually natural mellow. reaction. He natural reaction. He was. I was like, "Damn, okay, you calmed your ass down. Thank you. Thank you for getting it together." And then that horse had to get in there mm -hmm. and drive his ass insane. And then we get more screaming. Oh, 
we go yeah, again. Yeah, there we go again. It's like, damn, all right. Yeah, I guess it's what we got to do. I guess what we going. By the way, you know, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that that horse raped him. Help a brother out. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. help you out, all right? Yeah. 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 He sucked his dick. Yeah. 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 I'm, gonna get some, I'm at least going to help me. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Black Beauty voice. Now, if he had screamed right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, that would have been appropriate. Yeah, exactly. You see that shit? Oh, brother. Oh. <laughs> now, when he has to scream, he don't do it. When he should scream, he don't do it. <laughs> he was smooth with that. Once he's done with horses, he got it. <laughs> Once that horse gets through having him suck on him, he getting sucked by leeches over here. Ugh. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. You know, it, it gets to a point where the king actually, the king, the bad king in this, the king actually is my hero for just telling it like it is. It's no longer funny, but he refuses to give up on the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, that you, part is funny. Yeah. You might wanna, you might wanna be careful when you write dialogue like that. <laughs> it can be used against you, very much so. Uh, I give this movie credit for small things that happen in here um, that, that kind of make it bearable. You know, the screaming slows down. It don't stop, but it slows down. Uh, when he starts to be the hero of the film, it gets a little bit better uh, because they give him more, you know, again, charismatic things to do. Mm. And l listen, let's be honest. You know, we know what it is. It's mostly, it's not him b really being heroic, heroic. It's just him... Uh, it's just an excuse for him to bring uh, black humor to these these old, out of dated white people up sure. in here. Because that's what it's needed. Yeah, all this time. yeah. <laughs> to get you know to get to get them to lighten up with his funky blackness. <laughs> now give me some drum, man. Yeah. Now someone add me some good talk. I don't ask. I don't ask. <laughs> yes, but you heard they, that right. Sly and the family's yeah. known. They just, coming to, coming they just learn me. these chords and then it gets to a point where he's not, he's not coaching them anymore. Right, right. They, yeah. just, they, just, yeah, yeah. they just fucking know the song. They, they didn't know they, the shit. They didn't want to do this their whole the lives. Whole life. No, I'm telling you, though. They just, all of a sudden, they just know exactly where to come in. Apparently, Sly Stone stole this from medieval <laughs> <Yeah>. times. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna leave this part on just for Billy right now. I'm curious, did he bring them electricity also? <laughs> Sounds that could never come out of those instruments. Yeah, exactly. That's not a fucking drum. Yeah, man, but once they, once they got the funk, they found a way. Oh, my God. People, apparently Martin Lawrence is a sorcerer of funk. Yeah. <laughs> you take the funk, your nose has to grow. You can't even hit no chords on this thing. I know. And I'm a trumpet player, so I'm going to say. And usually the only sound they make is doo doo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> <laughs> and Martin said he must have brought some electricity too because that organ needed yeah. it needed power to make those sounds. Yeah. Yeah. You were so right about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get the fuck out! All right, all right, you know. Okay, hey look. man, come on. You you've been in it this long. I know. <laughs> now is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I love that he said, he said though he had stopped coaching them ages ago. <laughs> they just learned it, said, right? <laughs> Cause at first, oh, it takes them a couple times to, to get them into it. Then once they get that groove, yeah, all right. he does is start dancing. Everybody knows when to come it's, in. It's just natural. It's in the human DNA. My, my man on the organ, <laughs> though. My man on the organ, like, like if you don't know nothing about horns, you might think, all right, sure. But though, that fucking organ, though. <laughs> that man had no sheep music. It's like, <laughs> like 
like, the, like they just learned it all. I guess, like I said, Martin Lawrence is the Wizard of Soul, and he gave them. And they got gospel. He got, yeah, they got gospel. Yeah, he just gave it to him, man. This shit don't make die. Okay. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Oh my god, but then when them horns also, come in, that's what gets me every time. Yeah, bro. also he gave him the uh like you can also credit <laughs> with Martin Lawrence only bringing them power in the first Sly Stone song, <laughs> Sly and the Family Stone song. You can also credit him for the first Soul Train dance line. He forgot what movie he's in. <laughs> he sure did. He doesn't start dancing. <laughs> what did he do a rerun? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, it's like Shrek now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and this dude, sit your ass down. Sit down. Sit down, son. Sit down. He's like, I had to get drunk to get through this movie, so fuck yeah, you. I'm yeah, dancing. Just let him go. Yeah. <laughs> just let him go. Just let him go. You know, I tell you what, they did something I thought that they would never do in this movie, because when they introduced a black chick, oh, I said, yeah. you know what, they're introducing a black chick for a reason, so he can stay away from all these white chicks. And it's like, oh, of course, this is one where you don't know everything. Yep. And you know what? And then looking at this, it's like not only, so people, if you're listening, the, 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 the princess picks his ass up out of the crowd. King's daughter. The king's daughter picks him up out the crowd and just starts macking down on mm. him. They barely let dead, they, they barely let Denzel close to a white girl. He had to be in a Spike Lee movie to do that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Hollywood just served up a white chick to Mark Lawrence. <laughs> served up <laughs> on a silver on platter. A silver, that, Denzel watching this shit talking about you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting cases oh, shit. on all you bitches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. God damn you. Yeah, you had to have a black director yeah, to get a hook up with a white girl. Was this a black director? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Denzel. Oh, had yeah, this. he had oh, to yeah. have a black director. Yeah. This ain't no black director. No, hell. Man. <laughs> I didn't think so. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Put that whiskey down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, and Denzel be real mad because not only because you thought like, well, shit, they just gonna stop at a kiss. They like, no, he fucked the shit out that girl. <laughs> oh, mm. Regina. G Gina, G really? Damn, no, Gina. Regina. No, it's Regina. Regina. Oh, okay. But close enough. Yeah, okay. He should have put in that damn <laughs> Regina. <laughs> Yeah, he yeah man. He even told the king, "Shit, your daughter's a freak." <laughs> Goddamn girl, put them coming back over your head. Yeah. You ain't supposed to get up yet. I mean, they let her have that white girl, but he paid the price. <laughs> <laughs> now see, that's, that's unrealistic. <laughs> His head would be on that fucking yeah. bike like sure the rest would. of them. Yeah. Sure I'm sure he's in there. Eh, worth it. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> It was good, though. Kill me, shit. I got up in that white ass, yeah. huh? <laughs> do, what, do what you <laughs> will. <laughs> you are so worse. I could die happy. I don't care. <laughs> Thou does not care. <laughs> Thy does not give a fuck. <laughs> I'd have thou wrenched a winch of a hard prince of daughter of yours. Now he knows how to talk after he fucked yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that knows how to talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, he gets it now. <laughs> I, had, I had thy winch of a prince's daughter. She is not noble. <laughs> she is the freakiest in the land. That's basically what he says to yeah, him. He sure does. <laughs> That's why he put his ass in the cage. You're like, your daughter's a freak. You're like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I'll put your ass in this Rubik's Cube up here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so solve your way out of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> After Martin Lawrence is done with the kind of fish out of water humor, you know, the whole thing of modern versus medieval, those jokes right there, they weren't special. They weren't that great in the first place, but they were, again, worth a chuckle. They were worth a small laugh or two. Sometimes they were very funny. Um, and they were making best use of Martin Lawrence at that time, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's when he gets to that village that things slow down. And they, you know, they get into the, like, the ge real generic stuff, like there's the love story kicking in. There's the planned rebellion that's going right, on. Right, turns into Robin Hood. There's yeah. a thing with bad comedies that once they get to the third act, shenanigans aside, we got to focus on the plot, which is usually not the strongest point of the movie to begin no, with. No, I mean, you're right, because that's exactly what happens here. Once you in the third act, it just drops. The script is so bland that they had a twist in here that I, ain't, I would never saw it coming because I didn't know it was there in the first fucking place. These men might fight for their queen. 
queen. It's like there's a queen involved in this. Now they mentioned it earlier, but yeah. it, it leaves in no passing. impact. It's so forgetful. That, yeah, yeah, passing. It, I was like, like, wait by a minute. The way, we gotta get this queen. There's <laughs> wait a minute. There's a fucking queen. I was like, I didn't have it really. Not that it matters at this point. Right. There was a queen hiding out from the king who was taken over from him. She's the deposed queen. Dumb. from the Yeah. And then, yeah. I, but I mean, the, the, he did mention it an hour ago, number one. Number two, they got the nerve to make it all big like this. They right. should have right. showcased the, the fuck out of yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, don't, I was like, what? I was like, am give I, me a fucking break, man. I don't sorry. remember who this is. Yeah, am I supposed to give a shit now? I was like, I, who cares? And we've never seen her before. It's like, you ain't had no real story mm-hmm. before. We've been going back and forth these jokes and now we want to get a queen leading a rebellion now y'all way too late for that shit right no, no. I'm, I'm still, I'm still j- laughing about him fucking the white girls like, yeah <laughs> shit that was Ooh, the re- that was the rebellion to me yeah yeah a revolution so, yeah yeah it really it did you know like I said it makes no difference because that story line don't even make no difference all no. we're doing is just going back to 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 to, to Martin Lawrence doing his ad libbing and, and, and look, I like I like Martin Lawrence, but some of this shit is just painful. There once was a great king, Rodney King. Oh, that's screaming shit again. But th- that's what the, we go back to. But that's like, really, dude? A Rodney King? I know. Right? Yeah, exactly. Know. Like, at this point, he's accepted where he is and that nobody knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Right. And also... A Rodney King reference for the, <laughs> yeah. for the, I mean, for the audience watching the movie. No, yeah, come on, man, that shit is way too old. Man, that shit was just and it just a and lame, it wasn't even funny. It's just a lame. That's why it's a lame yeah. joke. Ow, 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 ow. And it goes on forever. He just keeps doing it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just to excuse him, scream again. The material ain't that strong <laughs> to keep up the whole thing of how my blackness will help the kingdom. Uh, Martin Lawrence, as Jamal passes over his favorite pair of Jordans that the king will fight and battle with and win a few things later. What are these? Some new jumps for when you lead your troops tomorrow. You have Jordans, boy. <laughs> Which he does. He, he puts them on. He yeah, actually, yeah, he, he wears them. He does some footwork. I'm yeah, glad they some fit. Yeah, he's yeah. right? <laughs> oh, you know, we're we're completely just, different sizes. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm a foot tall on your ass. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, uh, if you're talking about things that just you just take for granted that don't make no sense, Days have passed, and Mar Lawrence ain't got no stubble. The fade just yeah, this, fade the fade smooth, still fresh, fresh, fade. fresh. Yeah. yeah, man. By the way, he looks even smoother than that. What he yeah. got there? Yeah. Apparently, got a good barber in medieval times yeah, around magic there, man. Shave but that's, that's part of the magic. Yeah, it, it keeps him young. The yes, whole time he's that there. funky magic keeps him. That mustache just as trim still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good. He's gonna try to be all serious, Looking like a goddamn. That battle <laughs> is crazy, man. <laughs> That battle here is wild because they, you know, they actually do kill a lot of people. They do. But they're like, oh damn. <laughs> yeah, but they're like, fuck them. Nobody knows them anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. they, don't, they don't even mention. Nobody mourns or grieves for these. Nobody. People. <laughs> they don't mention these people anymore just, for our fallen brothers and all. They don't say shit about it, man. Mm. Just drop. Plus, you shouldn't have had this thing like that anyway. They should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wide yeah, open. Yeah, that left themselves wide open. And that should hurt like a. That's Ooh. the best act in the movie. <laughs> They got me right there for Gladys. <laughs> uh, then comes the part that we've been waiting for. Where Martin Lawrence lives up to the title. Black Knight, our Blacker Knight in this right. situation. There was a legend of a Black Knight, was, just so you know, that yes. they show it very quickly. Quickly. As he's walking through the village square. The legend of the Black Knight. Yep, this mention in the crowd. Well, he says, yeah, you know what? I could take that legend and maybe save the day, complete with pyrotechnics. That from his mouth? Nobody knows. No, he's got the. That, oh, that. Uh, he's got his hair aerosol spray, can. Hair, aerosol, and a uh, lighter. Oh, you know, and the Apparently crazy. with his mouth. But the crazy <laughs> thing with this is that that's him in the Black Knight outfit. And you're like, damn, what blacksmith built that tight ass suit for him? Martin Lawrence. There's a scene. <laughs> there's a scene in here where he pulls out blacksmithing skills out his ass in the middle of the night. In, a, in about three hours, he makes a black a black knight uh, costume. Good thing he took that blacksmithing mm-hmm. class in uh, community college. You know, I, I just realized. That's the remember at the beginning he gets in trouble and they make him spray and clean no, the uh, no, yeah, clean the, the, the softball helmets. Yeah. But I guess he had that in his pocket the he, whole time. When he got pulled into the water. The water. Yeah, that's what I didn't get because when he got, when he got pulled, pulled into the water. water, he's wearing his uniform, but he comes out wearing a New York Jets jersey. He doesn't have the, he doesn't have the, the coveralls on, does he? Yeah. Yeah. I, 
I think he changed. I don't, I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Nah, man. I saw him going to the water wearing his uniform. Oh no, no, no. He comes out with the coveralls on. He takes. Oh yeah, it he off. takes it off. Yeah, he does. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, just he cut does. the other thing. Yeah. Yeah, he does. So, so seriously, so you can't fault the movie for that. <laughs> okay. That's continuity. You're right. You know, right. we actually give this movie Jesus more credit. <laughs> like, yeah, <I> Nubian <laughs> Princess is correct. Uh, continuity is tight. You know, it's no, like whoa, 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 that. Scene was tight. The kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you just take it easy, goddamn it, because he did no. not have no fucking spray cans with him when he went to no. Morning. All shall be revealed, though. Uh, from this point on, though, uh, the movie the movie just starts pulling stuff from his ass. Uh, so no, now. So, yeah, <laughs> that, really. That, that, I mean, they were doing it before, but they go deep with this <laughs> during this part. Uh, at this point, we have uh, Sir Nolte who comes in. Him and Martin Lawrence are making a great team. He kind of saves the day until he, you know, look, he's the hero of the movie. You know, there's going to be a moment, uh, a very emotional, where he's going to go down. Martin Lawrence is going to actually have words with him, and that's exactly what happens. He gets shot. Oh, damn. <laughs> You're like, damn, he took that well. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you get for just standing there? Smiling and <laughs> shit. There's a battle going on. Yeah. <laughs> and like I said, you know, he gets shot, he goes down. This is the this is the this is complete with the death speech. You're a brave knight. It's been an honor fighting beside you. Now he clearly is dead because in the heat of bat uh, of battle right here, there's a moment where Jamal, Martin Lawrence, he looks down and you can clearly see Sir Nolte's body. But that's okay because it turns out that Sir Nolte was only taking a nap. I thought you was dead. But he was knocked out a little. People, he was knocked out a little while ago. He just needed a chance to get catch his second win. <laughs> that's a hell of a second win. People, he went from this to this right here. <laughs> He's tough. He's good. Um. Oh, apparently so. Good prevails over evil. <laughs> and I like the way my man, when he gets shot, because one of those deaths where it's like, where's the nearest ledge that can yeah, fall off of the oh, I, I love that he gets shot and he's looking around. <laughs> Damn, that fool, that fool, he's, he's looking for the nearest ledge. Yeah, he's like, like, he's like, just fall here. No, if you notice, he looked around. Look at yeah. this. Uh, <laughs> can't die yet. Where's the... Okay, there it is. Ah. <laughs> I, I can't tell you if the evil king died or yeah. not. The kingdom is Help! Help! I have everything in hand. Shut up. Fuck out of here. Oh. Now, I don't know if he died or not because he never came back. Yeah. I don't know if that was a shallow moat. I don't know if that belly flop killed him. I don't know if it's just... Was it an alligator in there? Yeah, well, I don't know the dragon in the moat or whatever, but we don't ever... Once he falls in that water, we don't hear from his ass again. At least that I don't remember. <laughs> and also, what if they win? Oh, sorry about that, King. Yeah, I was just playing, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, you know, you might want to hedge your bets on that. Yeah. You might not want to I throw guess he knew the they lost at that point. Like, fuck it. <laughs> you know, I got to. We lost, and I got to take your <laughs> shit. Yeah, no no more. I'm tired of your ass. And that fool <laughs> flew. He flew. He put his on. He, he thought he. That yeah, motherfucker thought like he, he was dived. Gonna, he thought he was going to fly off yeah. that ledge. You see him? Yeah. Ah! Look at him, <laughs> Superman! That fool thought he could buy, they might flap hard enough, I can survive this. <laughs> I can make it to the boat! I can make it! Here's the thing, people. Uh, it ends, we feel like on a good note right here, it ends with, uh, with uh, uh, Jamal getting the girl, getting that Nubian princess, getting knighted, and uh, being seen as a hero in the land until... In acknowledgement for your service to the crown, yeah. It was all a dream. Okay, now that that makes sense. That 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 redeems all. Every, this. No, it does not. Because I'm like, why the fuck was any of this worth going through all this bullshit? Really? You know what though? Really? You know what he just said that redeems all of it. Keep going. Oh, <laughs> keep going. Hey, see, you want to talk shit? <laughs> Vital signs appear normal. Now, that's how it ends with him being waking up. The queen was a paramedic. No, it's like, okay, so why the fuck did we go through any of this then if it's a dream? It, 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 being a dream, it, suddenly it works on a dream logic level. It, which, which is no logic at all. Well, they which, try to, which is dreams. They it's try fine. to do something. Uh, nah, Omar, you see this shit. I know you want to defend this, but no, nah, this is I don't want to defend it. This, no, this, 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 this bullshit. This bullshit right here. It's like, all right, you know what? Because it's like they had some flimsy ass things on it. It does actually, you're right. It does go into like, all right, so 
all the uh, anything goes logic here. It's excused now, mm-hmm. but that is that the writing is better. It's just kind of like, hey, we now we can excuse like the lazy writing because it's a dream. <laughs> Slow down. I'm not saying we get to excuse the la- lazy writing. I'm saying we get to excuse the lapse in logic. I can tell you the one thing that goes in and makes this whole dream thing even weirder mm-hmm. is that, okay, so he does that Wizard of Oz thing where it's like, oh, you know what? I either, you were there. <laughs> uh, you were there. Uh, I, I know you. You look familiar. So do you. Yeah. Probably the dude that hit on her at the club or the bar or some right, shit. Right, right. You, you, know. you, oh, you were that fucking asshole yeah. that told me you were a, first, a photographer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you nasty motherfucker. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I did that for real, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, boy, that part wasn't in your head. Yeah, all right. You know, I mean, look, it's cool when you can pull this shit and make something out of it. It's just fucking lazy. You know, right. get, out, get the fuck out of here. By the way, the park's a success now. He cares about his job. That, no, that, see, I didn't have what? that up there. Yeah, but he comes back and he tells her, like, hey, you know what? I was wrong and the park is amazing now. Right. The park just because is, he said he was you know, wrong. The whole thing, yeah, just be, yeah, exactly. That's, <laughs> that's where they are. They're not at a batting cage. They're at fucking medieval hood castle and shit. That's, this whole thing right here, like it's thriving, man. Yeah, well, it's that's, thriving. That's, that's the crowd. All dude. because Martin Lawrence fell into a moat. Some dirty ass water. Because he cares now. Yeah. <laughs> and and here's where the dream shit really gets weird because he ain't, it's not just a dream. That, that nigga's on some shit. It's like he's... <laughs> It's like, why do you keep having these fever dreams? Or why do you keep having these illusions? It's like, you must be on drugs. Because after the whole thing with medieval times, which made sense because he works at a castle. Yes. Granted, it makes sense in the, in the hood, but he works. It, we can make the connection. After that, he, he bumps his head or falls into the moat again. And now he starts dreaming about this. Oh! I'm trying to get a phone number. Oh! <laughs> so people Damn, it, no. yeah, wow. that's why he's following the moats and everything and having weird visions cause he's on some shit he's obviously on drugs or something cause now he's in gladiator times which has nothing to do with yeah. anything unless we just missed a scene where he just got through watching Russell Crowe and fucking gladiator or something <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that was edited that, yeah. out the movie my thoughts not the worst that we've done I actually enjoyed some parts of it but uh but definitely not good. It's still some bullshit. Yeah. If I, if I could give it some, if I could give it some good bullshit, that that would be it. I tell you, it's that kind of bullshit where I didn't hate it, uh, like some parts of it, but not that kind of good bullshit where, man, I gotta watch this again, or man, this movie's crazy. Man, yeah. It's just lazy. That's all. Yeah. So. That it's, it's so often we get those where I'm like, yeah, I know what you're all about. You're not good, but not you're not bad enough to me. Go like, oh, this is gonna be fun. There's some fun stuff here to talk about, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, I, I did it. <laughs>